She's a survivor, an old school principal with her fair share of supporters and enemies too. Tough as nails, tough. Crystal Bowling Barton has been one of the Buffalo City Schools most controversial figures for decades. And the controversy only grew in May when she was suspended for allegedly discriminating against LGBTQ students. But eight months later, Barton appears no closer to returning to McKinley. The I-Team has learned that the district's investigation has expanded from those original LGBT issues to other allegations made against the principal. Meanwhile, that suspension is costing taxpayers big bucks. Barton made more than $152,000 last year, including more than $95,000. The district says it paid her during her ongoing suspension. And earlier today, the district announced it is investigating whether she misused $22,000 in public funds on African-American artifacts. Her attorney says she did nothing improper. Barton has been McKinley's principal for 30 years, but some parents say the school's doing just fine without her. The school itself seems to be calmer. Coming home and hearing some of the stories that, that the kids were telling me is just unbelievable. Her supporters, though, say the stability she created at McKinley is slipping away. It's the number one school that people, that most kids want to go to that school. And why? Parents want them to go to that school, too, because there is structure and respect and discipline. She believes that the teachers make a difference in the classroom. And if she gets a teacher that does not make a difference with kids, she will ask you to ask for a transfer. Barton's attorney says she won't be pushed out without a fight. Mrs. Barton is not going anywhere. She is going to remain the principal for as long as she can. Attorney Robert Boreanaz says the notion that she would discriminate against gay students is ridiculous. It flat out did not happen. We believe perhaps the superintendent's office uh, was more than happy to have a lawsuit filed that might try and snare up Crystal Barton. District officials counter with a statement saying its primary interest is to ensure that employees and students are treated fairly. Don Van Every is one of the few people who saw both sides of Barton during his 10 years on the Buffalo School Board. She and her staff were good at foraging to help kids find a place to land. On the other hand, if you didn't get along with her, she was pretty tough, uh, especially on kids that were vulnerable. One student in particular comes to mind. Miss Javonna Kincannon. Javonna Kincannon crossed Barton 10 years ago as a student and found herself suspended from school and at the center of a controversy that grabbed headlines for months. I was so relieved, happy, leaving McKinley. Van Avery left the school board right before that controversy erupted, but he wasn't surprised to see Barton making a point and not backing down. In those things, she was very strong and very opinionated and very clearly not going to give an inch. You can't bring Crystal down. No way. No matter what the outcome will be, Crystal will be still standing. Mark my word.